Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, wake bait. We're going to paint paint it with a pattern. I told you guys I'd follow up with a with a video with the, with the lure that we're going to do with a pattern. So wake bait kind of goes on top of the water, kind of like a dying dying type minnow. So we got. I hope you guys enjoy the the video. I'll kind of walk you through the the steps as we uh, as we get going. Okay, so um, what we got is, this is the wake bait, kind of looks like that, it's got a short bill in the front, so first thing we do is we want to tape that up so we don't get paint on it. Some of these, um, some of these baits, you can paint the bill. Uh, on these wake baits, I like to tape them up. Just make sure you cover it really good. Um, just regular old painter's tape works. And you do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, start off with our base like we normally do. That's just a white opaque. And a good coverage. Said I got the compressor kind of up right now for this. Good, good thing is to get good coverage over this. This will make your your colors kind of come alive when you when you add other colors. This bait here's got BBs in it too. So the, what the BBs do is it gives it a knocking sound as it comes across the water, and the fish are able to locate the bait easier. Um, they also go with vibration. And we'll just dry that so we can keep our our coats moving quicker. So we'll do it right there. Just a nice thin layer. Sometimes you can, I don't know if you can see that little ridge right there, but sometimes I'll take a sander to it, just hit it really quick. Um, I've noticed that the Amazon baits that you buy, those tend to be a little bit rougher. That's why I think they're so cheap. Um, but there's definitely some other sites out there that have some really good blanks and that imitate a lot of the popular lures that are that are on site. Or sorry, that are that are in stores. Took me a while to figure that out, um, but I plan on taking you over to my buddy Dusty's one of these days and kind of showing you what his setup is. It's pretty, pretty crazy, um, but I learned a lot from him. So maybe we'll take a trip over there one day and I'll kind of show you guys what he's all about. So there again, we clean our gun out. I think that'll that's pretty good for the base. Um, this is going to be three color paint with a pattern.
like you said guys I'm pretty new to this so um, I've been learning as I go and there's so many different things you can do just hit this again real quick looks like it's got pretty good coverage on it Next, we're going to use uh, the fluorescent yellow again. This is made by Credex. Um, really good. You don't have to cut it. When I say cut it, some of the paints come in thick where you have to cut it with a, a paint cutter or paint thinner. They sell different things that you can use. Um, even water helps. But... With this paint here, you don't have to do that as much. Okay. Ah. See the bubbles? You gotta be careful of that. A lot of times it's better to start to go on. And I got the compressor up a little bit higher than I normally probably would. Nice and nice thin layer. Don't go crazy. Said you want to take your time. Worst case scenario, you get in a rush and you make a couple mistakes. Um, you're able just to paint right over it with the white. You get the front of the nose too. That's what's nice about these, this arm here, it kind of turns all different directions. And that's just the Hobby Lobby. Even, even Amazon has them. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that with the dryer. See the bait starting to take color. Make sure you cover over everything. Really good. This is a kind of a cool bait. I'll use this bait a lot in the mornings when the when the bass are on top water and they're. Uh, I don't know, it just seems to work. It works really good in the morning. Nothing hard to it, guys. Just the biggest thing here is just taking your time. If you ever want to get into it or check airbrushing out basically it basically how you kind of kind of do it
this color we're painting today I've never seen in the store. So that's what I like about it. I'm able to create my own stuff, things that are in my mind that I think will work. Um, which makes it fun. Nothing more rewarding than catching fish on a bait that you made. That's really, really awesome. Again, don't forget to know it's easy to do. So with this bill, when the bill is stood up like that, it keeps it up higher in the water table. As it's more slanted or on a 45 is what brings it deeper. And of course, bigger the bill, deeper the bait. Whole nother video for that guy. And there are so many different baits on the market. It's almost crazy. Okay, let's hit that with a dryer. We're getting close, guys. Turn it, press it up just a little bit. Make sure you get the bottom really good with this color. This is this is where you'll see most of this color at, is on the bottom of the bait. It's, it's throughout the bait, but mostly the bottom of the bait. So we're going to try and cover this back and we'll leave this bottom, uh, that yellow color. Okay, and then we're going with uh, the fluorescent green. Createx, same paint. Make sure you shake your paints up really good too, guys. Gets a good mix on them. And make sure you get good coverage, so... All right, so put that in there and then make sure you blow the gun out to make sure that the green's going out. It's not too bad when you mix like lighter colors like the green and yellow. If you have a little paint in there, it's not gonna hurt anything. So what I'm trying to do is just get halfway
these uh a lot of guns they're they're awesome because you can get so detailed with them they give a really nice um line you know where you can get real detailed and get real close to make sure the paint's not kind of going all over the place kind of see what we got now it's starting to come together a little bit. clips that I use to clip everything down. The dogs are going crazy here today. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay. And I twist that over. That. Now, I don't care that the clips are on the bottom, because like I told you guys before, um, the, uh, the bottom is that color. So, I'm really not wanting a whole lot of scales on the bottom. That's it. So, now that it's covered, with that, what we do is, is we go ahead with our third color, which is an awesome, awesome detail color. It's called uh, um, sepia. I think sepia or sepia, but it works awesome. It's, uh, I use this for a lot of detailing on a lot of things that I do. And it's just a really good detail color. Now here, what I'm gonna do is turn this down Okay, and then what you're gonna do, guys, is you're just gonna kinda just go over the bait nice and light. Now, I don't wanna really go past right there because I want that yellow to pop. But I'll go ahead and I don't wanna go too dark to where I don't, uh, I cover up my colors. It's just a nice tip. Put it around. Same thing. And I'm not really doing scales on the back. I'm gonna go up a little higher, but. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to the top because I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do here in a minute.
Okay. And that's pretty much it with that. So now what I do, dry that again really good because once you move that fabric, you don't want that to smudge. That'll mess your lure right up. Or your paint job, sorry. So then we dry that. Like so. Good. And then we just remove our clips. Ooh. See that, guys? See how that gives that, that scale pattern? Okay, and then I detail that up. So now, I take the sepia and I just kind of detail that. I like to darken up the eyes, get those dark. Darken up the front. Like so. You see how I could just do the eyeball if I wanted. That's how awesome this gun is. Okay, then it's all about the back. I want a dark back on this lure. Just kind of feathering that in. See why I didn't really scale the back? I didn't need to. here where the eye is we want to bring that up and we want to cover we want a nice straight straight line on the back see how that line's riding up too much Kind of darkening that back up.
about it, guys. I think we're close. Okay, that'll do it. Dry that off. And we'll get ready to put some eyes on it. and get ready to dip it and that'll be it and you can't find this lure anywhere in any store that looks like this sometimes that might be all it takes to win one of these tournaments is to just throw something they haven't seen okay so grab our eyes I think some red eyes that look good on this. I don't know. I love those red eyes for some reason. They, they kind of stick out in the water really well. Now, these eyes come to where they're already, um, they'll stick just right off the, right out of the box, so to speak. But I like to put an extra drop of that in there and that way there come on I know that it's not going anywhere Okay. And that's it. Looks like it's got some scales on it and uh, colored, painted a little something different. Now what we do is we take the tape off the bill before you dip it. copper on the bottom put the copper on the top and the copper on the bottom is for the drip and I kind of just slowly put that in there and just slowly pull it out and that will go right over those eyes so they won't move at all and I kind of let it drip a little bit That's that lure. Really cool looking. Okay, guys. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming along. I know this video is probably a little bit too long, but anyway, I wanted to kind of show you um, a lure with a pattern. All right. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.